Crazies, we got some news on Nubia a little bit. We got a teaser. We got some background. We got some fun facts about Nubia. I thought I'd share it because you know what? There's, a lot, there's not a lot to excite us as of late. So we got a couple things. Not only this, we got something else, baby. Fun facts about Nubia. I, Nubia I don't know. was originally introduced in 1973 in Wonder Woman number 204. She shares the title of Wonder okay. Woman with her Amazon sister, Diana. Oh, Nubia okay. wields the Staff of Understanding, a weapon made by Themis Kira's chief. Oh, I got a Staff of Understanding. Io. So with Staff of Understanding, Blacksmith, I, I was too busy making a joke about my staff. I didn't listen. Kira's chief blacksmith, Io. Standing, okay. a weapon made by Themis Kira's chief blacksmith. What is Themis Kira's chief blacksmith going to be in the game? Io. That's the cool. Staff of Understanding can turn into a lasso Whoa! with similar powers to. The Lasso of Truth. Nubia succeeded Hippolyta and is now queen of the Amazons. Also, she once suplexed at Manso, the Amazons. Nubia succeeded at Hippolyta and is now queen of the Amazons. Also, she once suplexed at Manticore. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but impressive. There's some cool stuff. Wonder Woman and her are both Amazonians? I don't know what you call them, but they're um, on that one island, I guess. And she's the queen? Has she been in a movie? Like, even if it's a for short time? I know the Wonder Woman movie, there was like a short time where they were on the, the island of where they live. Dude, what is this picture? Is this Diana? Is she a lesbian? I have no idea. This looks pretty affectionate is why I ask. Let's see this move. Let's see this move in slow-mo. Holy crap, what is that, a nair? Or, no way that's a sir. Okay, why do- Okay, so you see the staff. You see the staff. Maybe it's just me in the fighting games. The staff is normal right here. She starts spinning it, and it becomes a freaking telephone pole. I mean, it's a grower, not a shower, I guess. It just reminds me of Black Adam, Nair, or Powerpuff Girls. It's just gonna be giant and annoying. It does look cool, though. This one is almost like a Mortal Car- Like, this is what Mortal Kombat would be. Rope and spear. I don't even know what you call that. Get over here! Get over here! Okay. So, oh, now you see the move in action. See what I mean? See what I mean, dude? He's already getting hit right here. Like a shaggy nair, man. Just sends you forward. Even if you're behind. That's gonna be a dirty combo. Boom. Oh my god, that's- It bends! The staff bends! That's pretty sick. I wonder if you can cancel that, like pull it in and then just do jab. Dude, I don't know. She looks like she's gonna be a lot of fun. She looks like she's gonna be Wonder Woman type pace and like a f good, like feeling play style. But I don't know. That looks pretty strong to me. I mean, the cat did say that it's she's gonna be one of his mains, so probably overpowered. As you can see from the cats, the moveset is coming soon. I'm not even sure what the mid-season update would be. I think it's like the... So I think the 15th of October is going to be the mid-season patch. We might get something this weekend. So we'll have to see about that. So saw the new events pop up six days. So we can assume that in six days, probably the mid-season patch is going to drop. 100%. So we're going to get something this weekend for sure. But the hunter on the trail... I don't know, will we have to unlock her? No, this is probably just an event and you'll get the player with this event. It's probably neater. And a Rise of the Galaxy Brains on the same day as well, at the same time. Your typical currency, just like this, the Batman coins and stuff like that. You probably get to unlock some cool skins. Wait a minute. These skins like Wonder Woman, Stripe, Gizmo, and Harley back there. It looks like there's more galaxy skins is what I'm getting at. I mean, assuming since this icon is a galaxy icon with the currency, I, it's safe to assume there's probably galaxy skins or something like that. Hopefully Superman gets one. Then I'll, then I'll love the game. But yeah, that's it's gonna be cool. I'm excited to see the changes for the mid-season patch. Another change that they'd said randomly is, hey MVPs, we've seen your feedback regarding our RP formula for ranked mode. Those of you who don't know, I've been getting plus three, plus four, maybe plus eight sometimes, and maybe a plus 19 rarely. The majority is plus three, plus five, whatever that low, and then I would lose 19. Sometimes I would lose a little bit lower, but a lot of times I'd lose 19 or lose more than 10 and it's just 
Okay, cool. So I win five games in a row and I lose one and all that fucking progress is gone. Like that, that immediately has been burning me out of multiverses because that's all they have is ranked mode to grind. Yeah, they have the rifts, which are still trash in comparison to where they should be. They still have the battle pass, which every game has a battle pass. That's always just a bonus, not the main attraction to games. And that's literally it. No new game modes. No nothing. We're just stuck with the ranked grind just over and over. Play, play, play again, play again, play again. I know fighting games, that's what they are. You just play, but there should be other modes. There should be other attractions. That's just how I feel. That's why I'm getting a little burned out. We're happy to announce that we've pushed a major update to this formula and you should see these adjustments in your win slash loss match results at a, the conclusion of a set. I really wish they would go into detail on what they changed because I don't trust them. I don't trust them. And to prove that, we're going to go in and play some multiverses. I almost want to intentionally lose one to see how much I lose and then we're going to try to win here. Mousetrap just lasts forever. Lasts forever that I can't do anything about. Hit him right in the cheeks. Finally, good kill. But yeah, part of me thinks that a lower amount of players to go against, they're just gonna up the RP for everything. So that way, everyone's, it's gonna become a grind fest rather than, oh, wait, you get equivalent points for your skill matchup based on who you're going against. Nice, let me just stay here while I wait for the stupid trap to be done. Holy shit, you are a loser. Oh my God. Just die, you stupid fucking rat. Get off the map. You know what? I think this is the match I should have chosen to lose. I did not want to choose this match to win. Oh my God. Let's just not, let's just not make it into game three. My God, dude, crazy knock, do better. Nice what shot. the hell? Oh my God, it's still fucking hitting. Jesus Christ, these people are insufferable. I can't hit him, dude. Fucking trash can. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Now I can't lose to this fucking loser. I can't lose to this loser because he's a loser. Oh my god, I'm playing Superman. Oh, why can I? Can't, I can't complain against anything. I can't complain. You can't complain. You're Superman, the most overpowered character in the game. Shut up. Shut up. Go play Superman and then you'll see that you'll be stuck in silver. I feel like I was about low up, but I guess it was a good play. Superman. I don't know. Him jumping made his freaking body flat, so it's like I just missed because of that. Three! Three grabs! Asshole! Ain't dead. Yes! Alright, 21 RP from that win. What rank was he? 21 RP and I went against the master. That actually seems good. I've been hearing rumors. And then you give him the toast. Huge. If that rank is consistent, me going against a master, I get 21 RP. That actually seems really good. I have heard rumors that people are getting like plus 34 and then minus four. People are saying they, they've they always gained more than 19, but lose less. So if you lose less, that's gonna be bad. Cause for example, right there, I gained 21. If I lost that, I should lose 25 because I was a little bit higher ranked than him. But you should lose more based, even in your same ranking for each division, you should lose more or gain more based on how high or low you are compared to your opponent. I should gain 21, lose like 23 or something. Now, if I go against a plat player, that goes from plat, diamond, master, like I should be losing like 28 and be gaining 18 or something like that, you know? 
because I'm losing a plat player if ranked actually meant something. If it is a smurf or whatever, someone really good at the game and they just haven't played the character, then they would just have them gain a lot of RP. Like if they beat me in master, like he should get like a hundred RP. So that way he moves up quicker. But we're gonna lose this one. We're gonna make this Jason feel sexy. I would have, I would have, there it is, nice. I would have 100% was charging up tilt when he teleported. But what do you guys think about Nubia as well? This isn't just about the ranked. Uh, I find Nubia is a great addition to Moldiverses. I mean, I think it's great because I don't, I don't know who you. she is or who she was. Even though I know who Moldiver or uh, Superman is, I don't know any of the story about Superman except, you know, the main a little bit. Like I don't watch, read comics, watch shows. I started watching Smallville, but it's mainly because of this game. Like, I I didn't choose Superman because I like the character, per se. I chose him because he just felt amazing to play in the beta, and I just fell in love with him. But same with other characters, like at the Adventure Time, Finn and Jake. I, I knew of Adventure Time, but it made me want to watch Adventure Time. Same with the other... Like even even Powerpuff Girls, that's made me want to watch Powerpuff Girls as well. Those things like that, and then Nubia. I don't think she has a show or anything, but I, it, it excites me to know that there's just something new to enjoy and experience. Like imagine if they just busted out all their new characters, famous and just like the best top tier characters, all within a f five seasons or whatever. Like three characters a season. Like, would that be more enjoyable for you guys? Like really? It's not gonna save the game. Especially that's another point I make. Coming out with these awesome characters in a state of multiverses where you don't want it to be. I mean, we got Powerpuff Girls for crying out loud. So it's not like we aren't getting any. There we go, nice. Nice. Got, I'm trying to make it like a hard fought battle. Nice. Guys, I could have kicked his ass, but we love Jason. That's fine. We want to see how much we lose here. This is the main reason I'm doing this. 10. Let's see what rank he is. Now here lies the problem. Here lies the problem, guys. I probably gave him like 30 something from that. Why do I go against the master player in game 20? That makes sense. But if I lose to someone who's three ranks lower than me, I should be losing more than 20. If I'm gaining 20 for an even match, this guy should be getting 30 and I should almost be losing 30. I'm not even lying about that. In a perfect system of ranked, if you do go against a plat player because there's just not enough players, then you should only gain like 15 and lose like almost 30 or somewhere around there. I don't know the exact number, but that's how you keep a rank system that actually is meaningful. Like, whoa, this guy's at number one. Like that means this guy is a good player because ultimately, Grandmasters should be playing against Grandmasters because then you're getting an equal skill level and that's where the Grandmasters should gain like 15 to 20 as well and lose 15 to 20. None of this plus 4 minus 19 bullshit. None of this gain 28 minus 10 bullshit. So simple. I don't even know how to code and stuff like that and I just it's so simple. Based off those two matches the ranked is still going to be trash. It seems like it's going to be based on who just plays more because if you're gaining more then you lose no matter what. That says, hey, the more time you play, you're probably gonna gain more MMR. So just play more and you'll be up higher. Crazies, let me know what your thoughts are on Nubia down below and the ranked changes. But Crazies, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And with that, I say good night and goodbye. Goodbye, Crazies. Goodbye, Crazies. I love you, Crazies. Goodbye.